It's been a big week for human exploration. On Thursday, a new satellite finished 15 months of work and provided us with this. It's a map of the flash from the Big Bang, a sort of baby picture of the universe that scientists say provides all sorts of new information. For instance, that the universe is actually 100 million years older than we previously thought. And a much older satellite is on the verge of making its own discovery. In 1977, two Voyager spacecraft were launched out of the Earth's orbit. The crafts carried cameras, instruments, even a gold record with messages for extraterrestrials, should it encounter them. In years after launch, the craft snapped pictures of the planets and then, well, it kind of just kept going. Now, some 35 years after the launch, Voyager 1 is back in the headlines because according to NASA, it's right on the edge of leaving the solar system. Some folks say it actually has. It would be the first man-made object to do so. And it carries with it a message for whoever or whatever it should encounter. What does that message say? Let's take a listen to some of it. As the Secretary General of the United Nations, an organization of 147 member states who represent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet Earth, I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. Shalom. Hola y saludos a todos. Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, and so, Emmy Kalawe, that's what E.T. will hear should it run into um, Voyager 1. But the question is, where, in some cosmic sense, is Voyager 1? Because some folks were saying it had left the solar system, but NASA says not. So what's that debate? NASA says no, it has not. So um, at Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where the Voyager program is based, they said, nope, don't worry about it. It's still within the bounds of the solar system. However, it's right on the edge. So what they're waiting for is for the magnetic fields in that region to change. And once they change direction, they'll know for sure that it has actually gone into interstellar space. That's the sign that the sun's influence is no longer, it's no longer within that boundary. So that's basically what it means. The details are, they're really just, they're sketchy at this point because there's so little we know about this, this part of space by virtue of the fact we've never sent anything out that far before. So. Do we have any idea when? We don't have any particular idea when because again, nothing's ever been this far out before. So it's sort of like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're pretty much five years old in the back seat and we have no access to the map, so. <laughs> the world's worst car ride. Basically. Um, <laughs> or the best, depending on how you want to look at it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so we saw some of it. In a sense, this is like a time capsule of what, at least in the late 70s, we thought was important about humanity. Yeah. What did we say about ourselves when we told E.T. Uh, about humans? Well, we really liked Bach, apparently. Bach has um, three songs on the Golden Whoa. Record. So he's, he's, kind of, he's kind of the king of, of, uh, of the Golden Record, if you will. Um, but the record contains a number of songs. It contains uh, 115 images, if I remember correctly. Um, these are sort of essential elements of Earth. So the elemental sound of the human body, for example, um, the sound of a kiss, the sound of um, a mother's first words to her baby. So these really wow. quintessential elements of, of what makes up us here on Earth so that any civilization, any entity that should come across this um, will be able to sort of understand a little bit of where Voyager came from. Uh, one image not carried by Voyager but taken by Voyager is, is this one, what uh, Carl Sagan described as the pale blue dot of Earth. This whole project speaks to a romance that the space program had in the 60s and 70s and maybe has lost in the last couple decades. Um, I guess just speak to that. What does it say about where we stand now that the, the most, some of the most exciting things that are happening are from projects that were uh, launched literally decades ago? Well, it's interesting you should say romance because the way that the golden record was compiled was by Carl Sagan, and during the compilation of that record, he met his wife, Androyan. So all of that, there, you're right, there, rom there's romance in and around the Voyager program, but we do, we have fallen in love, if you will, with the Mars rover, so there is that as well. I would say that it's not necessarily that the love affair has died, it's just, um, it's going into a new phase of the relationship. <laughs> okay. Emmy, always good to see you. Always good to see you, too.